My name is Chantal. Uh, I work for the city of Rotterdam. I'm a senior policy advisor there, working for the Department of Culture. And I mainly work in the field of creative industries. That's where economies and cultural production meet each other. What I find interesting in my work now is that uh, my role as a policy advisor is changing and the role of the municipality is changing. Budgets are getting shorter and we are kind of running out of innovative ways to uh, make policy. So at this moment uh, we just finished the roadmap, so we now have the planning of the actions and we will evolve into an actual local action plan with all participants. Uh, and the stakeholders, of course. Getting stakeholders on board was um, a challenge for me personally because I, I had to be very forward and invite people to do so and wasn't quite sure what, if they would be enthusiastic enough to start in. So uh, in the beginning I was quite scared that I would be the only one with the partner from the creative hub that was already in. His name is Leo, uh, by the way. But as soon as I started talking to people about the project and the aims of the project, not so much mentioning Herb Act, but the, the actual results we were aiming at, everyone was more or less enthusiastic and came in. Of course, not everyone is participative in the same way and is uh, they're all, not all active in the same way. But, well, that doesn't really matter. It's, it's a good group now. But then again, once you start talking to people and explain what you want to do, they're very interested. And I find that the approach of first talking to them more or less privately or with a small group and then inviting them to a slightly bigger event or explaining that some of their contacts are also involved kind of helps them to get a grasp of what's going on. What might be difficult uh, moving forward is that, um, as I uh, said, we are analyzing existing projects and trying to add on new ones. Uh, of course, people that are working on existing projects, it's their project, it's, it's their thing. And I'm now asking them to let me more or less use it in a broader sense. So they have to feel confident that it's uh, safe to do so and that I'm not taking over their project or claiming it in a way that they don't feel is right. So um, I want to have them in, but I want to give them the assurance that it's still their project and I'm just there to give it uh, a nice platform in the city to make it viewable at City Hall and maybe to give them some hooks to build on for the future. I think that trust is very essential to get partners involved and get stakeholders really active. Um, for me, the best way to create trust is to be open and forward about what I'm going to do. Also to be open and forward about what I'm not going to do and what I'm not going to achieve in this project. I want to talk to the partners on an equal level, not being someone from city council that directs them in what they want to do. I want to learn from them, hear from them, give them a way to show the richness of their projects more than uh, steering the projects in a different way. Being forward, sharing information, giving them access to everything I write and do, that builds trust. And of course, following up on the actions you promised to do. That also creates a lot of trust. What I find interesting about the local support group is that it's not just that group. Every member of my local support group has his own, his or her own network. And I'm kind of hoping that they bring the knowledge um, from our local support group meetings to their own network, spread it there and get feedback on it and then bring that back to our table so we can then learn from that. and. More or less, I hope the local support group will be like an oil stain, so it will spread the knowledge over the city and will bring knowledge back to us, so we can have some kind of, well, interaction and flow. So it's not just the knowledge we have, but I can actually have the knowledge of the entire city 
through the people of my stakeholder group. We weren't entirely new on uh, participating with stakeholders. Um, I work in the Department of Culture and we do interact a lot with the cultural institutions on um, policy, action planning, uh, results. But the framework of Herb Act gives a new and more structured way to do so. Um, and I think we can use it also in the fields that we have some experience in participating, but this, this can enrich the experience we already have. We are still at the start working towards an action plan, uh, but what I sense is a new kind of energy between um, my policy department and the creative industries and a new kind of energy to start working again together and to uh, share what we feel are our problems uh, and to get a common ground again which we have missed for some time now so that's the process in itself now is very encouraging to build on and I certainly hope that as, apart from common grounds on problems we can come to common grounds on actions so that will be the, the big thing to accomplish in the coming months.